But what they want to create is not entirely sure. Claims that they want to carve out a sort of uh, Islamic caliphate in, in the region uh, are disputable. Some say it's uh, true, some others say there's, there's no proof of that. What is clear is that Boko Haram now is trying to show that they can actually strike anywhere they want. Uh, in less than a week, they were able to launch attacks in border towns uh, of Niger and now in Chad for the first time in both countries. And that is a significant move from uh, the Nigerian insurgency that is clearly not just a Nigerian problem now. This has turned into a regional war. It's not a regional insurgency yet because these fighters don't have the local backing that they would need uh, to transform this in a regional insurgency in neighboring countries. But at, the, uh, uh, at least they are able to strike across borders and that is the main issue at the moment. Chad is uh, suffering a payback attack today uh, because it is leading uh, what is uh, becoming a regional offensive against that insurgency. And uh, it is quite possible that we see more attacks uh, in the next uh, few weeks or few months, depending uh, how this multinational force is able to crush the insurgency or not. Doesn't Chad, though, have one of the strongest armies regionally? And are they now beefing up security on that border? Yes, exactly. It's one of the uh, best equipped armies in the region. It's got uh, jets, uh, it's got eight armoured vehicles, it's got uh, uh, heavy artillery and able to uh, intervene in uh, neighbouring countries. Remember that it's quickly intervened uh, uh, in northern Mali a couple of years ago uh, with the French there, uh, which was of, of uh, important help to the French army there. And now it is leading the fight, the regional fight against Boko Haram. It's already deployed in Cameroon to the south of its capital. It's already deployed in Niger and it's already struck uh, Boko Haram positions in Nigeria itself. Uh, so uh, there is a sense that uh, uh, Chad is uh, leading the fight and uh, already over the last few weeks Chad had deployed uh, around 3,000 more troops along the border with Nigeria in Lake Chad uh, to beef up its presence there uh, and to make sure that uh, uh, no attacks would be able to be carried out on its territory. Obviously uh, we've seen that uh, Boko Haram was able to carry out an overnight raid and I think that this is what the Nigerian insurgents are trying to say, that whatever uh, security you put in place will be able to strike.